हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड स्टेइंग सेफ वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर वीडियो ऑफ द फुटबॉल मेनिया टू ब्रिंग यू ऑल द लेटेस्ट न्यूज एंड अपडेट्स फ्रॉम द फुटबॉल वर्ल्ड वेल इफ आई एम ऑनेस्ट आई हैव नेवर सीन अ हीरो इंडियन सुपर लीग एडिशन यू नो सरपास मी विदाउट एनी काइंड ऑफ थ्रिल्स एंड स्पिल्स एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम एज अ ट्रू फैन ऑफ इंडियन फुटबॉल आई कैन प्लेज दैट यू नो आई हैव विटेस्ट वन ऑफ द बेस्ट आई एस एल सीजन्स not because of tactics not because of the number of goals scored which are completely outrageous but for the sheer fact that it has been so well contested and let's be honest here we have seen the table swinging upside down in the matter of 2 to 3 weeks this is how crazy this league has been and once again we witnessed a very classic match between two teams which are desperately fighting for the playoff spots well they are at least in consideration for the playoff spot because they are already in the top 4 this was between odisha fc and hyderabad fc and to be honest i was looking at the lineups and i was not surprised by hyderabad because we all know that ogbeche up front along with the likes of nikhil pujari and aniket jadhav have been a real menace and if we talk about odisha fc they have i don't know for what reasons they have not started jonathas up front they have stuck to jerry in the right wing and it was very interesting to see who would you know the manager pick for the left wing and to be honest i saw that the midfield was also quite stable for odisha giving a start to sahil was a very you know a big dilemma for the manager and i just feel that over the season all the indian players have progressed really well for odisha fc but on the other hand if we talk about hyderabad Manolo Marquez has built a very good squad. He has understood the strengths of all the players and he has fielded a team which is apt according to the opposition. And for this match he stuck with Akash Mishra on the left hand side and Ashish Rai on the right. These two have been real stalwarts for Indian football and also for Hyderabad FC because I have seen that Akash Mishra as a player has matured. He is far beyond his age. and as a player i just feel that he's technically also gifted with a very wonderful left foot and to be honest he can whip in those beautiful crosses and we always know that kianesi is always there to you know pounce on anything which is loose going into the first half i was expecting hyderabad to dominate position against odisha fc and that's exactly what they did they had most of the clear chances and it could have easily been 2-0 by half time however we always felt that you know odisha fc just require bit of stroke of luck and that is exactly what happened during this match jerry pounced on a very narrow angle and it became 1-0 to odisha well this was against the run of play because hyderabad fc were really dominating the possession and going into half time manolo marquez will be furious because the goal which they considered was right at the stroke of half time and going into the second half we saw a reaction from hyderabad fc this is exactly what we expected even though odisha were keeping the ball really well i just felt that hyderabad fc once they get into this match they just require a couple of very good chances to really get into the game and this is a team which is fighting for the top spot not just the playoff positions and akash mishra on the left hand side what a player you have you know exceeded expectations one of the most consistent left backs in this league you have proved that you know you are one one for the reckoning for the indian national team and what a beautiful cross after making a 40 yard run from his own defensive area and taking the ball further up the pitch to whip in a beautiful cross for kian ese to score and equalize now that it is 1-1 hyderabad fc were looking to gradually get into the game and take this match away from odisha fc odisha fc did have a couple of chances they were creating that kind of odd scare in the middle and it was just helter skelter for hyderabad fc during some moments during the match especially in the second half but as the match progressed i just felt that there was only going to be one team which is going to you know take the game by the scruff of the neck and that is hyderabad fc not only did they kill the game with 2-1 they made it 3-1 it was a wonderful goal by joao to you know it was a very good turn and a shot which flew into the top corner the goalkeeper had no chance and the third goal was the icing on the cake 
it was by akash mishra the man who created the opener for hyderabad fc and soon after you know jonathan came on it was still some kind of threat something different to the attacking play of odisha fc and he scored a screamer to give a glimmer of hope to odisha however we know a team like hyderabad fc once they have taken the lead they have not you know been very vulnerable while conceding it and it is something which we have seen time in and time again that whenever you are on the front foot whenever you are on the ascendancy you need to kill the games and that is exactly what manolo marquez instructed the players to do to kill off the game waste time and frustrate the opposition so that they can take home all three points and secure a three point lead at the top of the table it was a very crucial victory in the end for hyderabad with this they are you know sitting pretty at the top of the table and as far as odisha goes they are still in with a shout for the play off spot but it will be really difficult to see how they can progress because they have some tough fixtures against some very good oppositions and it is all about who is able to take the game by the scruff of the neck and able to pounce on any loose mistakes by the opposition so guys it was a very wonderful match it ended 3-2 in favor of hyderabad and i just feel that they are the real deal because every time i look at them they look like the team which is going to take the game to the opposition they are going to fight for every duel and even in midfield i think hitesh sharma has done a wonderful job he along with joao he along with juanan from the back it has been a real joy to watch all the young indian players like ashish rai and akash mishra step up into the first team and as a team they look a very solid unit which are coached by a very experienced manager in manolo marquez so guys please let me know what are your thoughts it was a wonderful display once again hero isl has you know delivered and we have seen some exciting football and guys please let me know what are your thoughts about who will exactly finish in the top 4 it is still going to be a very close match and i just feel that you know may the best team win so please put in your thoughts and for regular updates from the world of football please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so until next time stay safe and take care